Okay, this is Terrible Games Made in One Hour. Quick summary of the rules. Uh, I have one hour to make a game from scratch. Um, existing engines obviously can be used. Any assets that are used in the game must be either made by me or found for free online within the uh, duration of the hour. So no pre-made stuff allowed. Uh, and then once we hit the one hour mark, we stop and see what we've got left. All right. Now, um, it's the 9th of December. So we're going to try making... Uh, we're going to go for something a little bit Christmassy themed, but it's not going to be good. Okay, now let's go. All right, so the first thing um, is I want to just make the background fucking white. Um, for now, that's going to do perfectly well. So we're going to create a... Uh, all right, that's real quick. Um, go Google Images. Santa... Sly so top down because I know what I want, and then we're just going to real quick make sure that it is Creative Commons. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. none of these are what I want. All right, cool. Well, that didn't get us anywhere, so we go to paint. Because, oh wait, pink, I'll make PNGs. This is taking way too much time, um, but it is sort of crucial for what I want. Um, All right, sod it. We're going to open GIMP, and while that's loading, we're going to get straight into it. So, uh, <clears throat> first of all, we're going to make some obstacles. So, um, that's why it's, we're going to make a circle. This is going to be a tree. It's going to be green. Uh, that sort of tree. Hello, right? It's a pine tree. Let's, um, let's add another circle attached to that um, we'll make it uh, slightly smaller a little bit smaller than that that will do I'm just going to make it uh, also green just Copy that. Man, I'm wasting time on aesthetics at the moment. Uh, and we're just going to make it slightly lighter. There we go. That gives a little bit of illusion of depth, I guess. Um, <clears throat> cool. So now we just need not an audio component. Uh, maybe we want physics 2D. And we're just going to give it a circle collider. Bam. Let's double check the collider. Cool. Right. That is... Um, a prefab. There we go. I'm not going to worry too much about um, sorting of stuff. Okay, wait. Ugh. Um, I want that to go in front. So 1.1? Or is it 0.9? Shit. Oh, wait, that's scale. There we go. Um... And then we're going to apply that to all of them. Right. <clears throat> now, oh, cool. Gim's open. Right, so we're going to create a... I don't know why that's just turned red. Um, new. Uh, we don't need it to be huge, so we're just going to go for a 500 by 500. Uh, 500 by 300 image will go. Um, and background is, get out of the way, the background is there, right, um, may solve the bell, uh, no, um, we'll just call that slay, and we're gonna get some real gross drawing here, 
Um, we're going to go uh, sort of, I know, sort of light brown color for the actual sleigh. We'll bring that down. I'm sort of going to have a sort of rough box of a sleigh. Bam. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to have um, sort of brown. I'm going to make a single reindeer out front here. Yes, I know this currently looks like a turd. Um, bam. bam. Uh, I'm going to give it a slightly lighter blob for a head. Antlers. And a red nose. I'm going to go back to black for... And... No, nope, all we want is... We've got the short pairs for that. Nope, we want to make it a little bit thinner for some reins. Look at that. And uh, now we're going to go back to the bright red. And a much bigger circle. Not quite that big. Or the fat man around town. Okay. That will do, right. Save this to, um, god damn it, I have to find it. Uh, where is it in here? Nope. There we go. Uh, one hour games, game assets. Um, ah, fuck, now we're exporting it. Back to where we were going. No, nope, it's in D. Santa.png. Bam. Okay, cool. Now, um, cool. That's all good. Right, now we have Santa and we're going to rotate him around the wrong axis, apparently. I know that's along the right axis. All right, cool. Um, Santa is currently massive. Um, we're going to stick a box collider on him. And then we're going to... You know what? No, we're going to give him a capsule collider. Make it a little bit nicer and... There we go. This will give him the ability to give. You want to give him a little bit of uh, leeway. So now we're going to have a script for our center behavior because it doesn't need to be super complicated. I'm going to throw that onto Santa. Okay, it's it's generating the class. Now we're going to throw Santa behavior onto that, and Santa becomes a prefab. Cool. Um, Santa's also going to be um, a bit smaller. A little bit smaller. There we go. Right, cool. Yeah, reload Santa behavior. Um, so the first thing we want is the Santa can move left and right. So um, I fixed update. Make a boy can move. Nope, not on animal. Why do you hate me making new 
methods, right? So every update is going to call the move method. Um, and then first we've got um, that uh, we can access a rule. Um, and we want our is on the tool. All right, we're 10 minutes in. Um, and then we're going to get a float um, and speed. Uh, and then float move is um, x times speed times time done. Delta time, the delta time, then make sure that, uh, and then we make a new, uh, move back as new, we have vector three, which is annoying, um, nope, that should be, right, that should be zero, that should be zero, and this should be move, I don't know why. Like that, and then transform dot position dot oh yeah dot position um class equals move back. I can do that right. Well, I could if I wrote it correctly. There we go. Okay, so um, let me go back to here. It's thinking. Uh, we'll give them a speed of one and we'll see what happens. So, there we go. Sand's going to move back and forth. Excellent. And we want to put some boundaries on that. Um, so, uh, I guess if we. Um, Areas and go left, right, and all this needs is a box collider, I believe, um, and that just needs to go over this way and get longer. Doesn't matter if it's over the top of it. Um, and now we're going to duplicate that and just bring it all the way across. Tiny bit less. There we go. And we'll bring it to right. Okay, so now hopefully we increase the sensor speed. Ten, let's say. I don't know if this will work. Nope. Uh, okay, right, so we've got to add a rigid body to Santa. And he does not have gravity, which is important. And we've got to add a rigid body to each of the barriers. Uh, which also, just for the static, and they don't suffer from Gravity. Okay, cool. So let's try that. There we go. He can't leave the screen. That's exactly what we want. Now let's gonna bring well things up a bit. Barriers go in there. And we're going to bring Santa back a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> so as you may have guessed, um, this is going to be nice and straightforward. Move around, try not to hit the thing. Um, right, so we've got Santa here. Um, now we're going to create a new one really quickly. Um, this is just going to be through them. Um, This is going to be nice and straightforward. I'm going to get 
a smaller brush. Get some gray, darker gray. I'm just gonna draw an outline of a sort of rock shaped thing. And then we're going to just put a couple of wiggle lines. And then we're gonna make slightly lighter gray. And bam. Okay, we're gonna. Bring the threshold a little bit higher. Okay, not that high. You know what? That'll have to do. Okay, and that gets exported as cool, the same place. That is the rock. I did not give it um, transparency. That'll do. Right, uh, and then we're just going to export it again. Cool, all right, now. Um, we've got a rock. Um, that's a big old rock. We're gonna scale it down a tad, which I mean quite a lot, um, and then add a, nope. Gonna add a circle collider. Um, do we have? Yeah. Have a polygon collider. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, cool. And then we have rock as another prefab. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to move around on that. So this has a circle collider. Cool. So we go over there and we go over here um, and we need C sharp script, which is just a obstacle. And then we're going to have a um, all of the obstacles should have the same speed. And we're going to do that with a really cheaty um, approach where I'm just going to create a singleton. Is that kind of disgusting? Yes. Um, so um, public static and game controller instance. Eh, whatever. Um, And then we're going to have a float um, obstacle speed, which will be low case. All right. Um, and now all obstacles um, float. because we want the speed to be able to change in the future so we're just going to make it really simple Give them another move on which is uh, just um uh, about position was vector three um zero so I'm sure that's all good and then this is just going to be 
Um, game controller dot. Instance dot obstacle speed times time dot delta time. Nice, cool, straightforward ish. Okay, so we're gonna have an empty for um trolls, which goes up here. And game controller is going to get just thinking about it. And I'll save it. <coughs> it's saved. What? what do you mean that script class can't be found? It's right here. It hasn't recompiled. Cool. It always does it. It's very annoying. Um, but that one time, so we're going to have them go at five. Um, and then the rock is going to be an obstacle. And the tree is going to be an obstacle. Um, and so then what we should find... Okay, well, that doesn't help. It's because I've done something stupid, isn't it? I've said it. So it should be plus equals bam. I'm a dumbass. Okay, we're a third of the way through. Go the other way. It's all right. We're doing fine. Okay, and that reminds me that uh, we need to make it so he can't um, rotate. Cool, right, now we go to uh, obstacle, which has a... I don't need to worry about that sensor behavior. We need a... On um, collision into 2D. Uh, if um, go collision game object dot just game object. Uh, so go dot tag. Obstacle. Um, then take damage. And then go dot. Does it have to? T oh no, then it's destroy game object. Okay, so when he hits things, it should destroy them. Okay, he didn't. I haven't tagged anything as a game object yet, uh, as a obstacle yet, so. Can I spell? No, I cannot spell. Uh, so rock is an obstacle. Tree is an obstacle. So this means that he won't destroy the barriers at the side, which are kind of important. Bam. Okay. Cool. Right. So there are barriers. He can. He can. D d the barriers do stuff when he hits them. Now uh, he needs to take damage. So we'll go. Um, with another bubble uh we'll have it in this time uh north K 
controller minus a not black void um loons and take damage uh we will take uh minus 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 and if oh, there's less than equal to zero thank you um no we're gonna call uh game controller dot dot um lose there we go um and then we're gonna go to lose and it's gonna destroy um game object santa going to destroy santa cool Later on, it'll make UI stuff appear, but for now on, um, nope. They both die. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so first of all, um, I'll just go speed and then we'll have a public bull. Now, I know this is exceptionally inefficient, um, but hey. Can you start to go as true? Um, right awake. Can you start to go as false? Cool, right now. Um, blah, 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 to obstacle if not game, uh, game controller should I make it a property or something that's a little bit less directly yes but this is terrible games in an hour not stable games with good programming in an hour right so if I kill myself on the rock, the tree should stop moving. There we go. Cool. Right. Um, then we're going to have real quick, we're just going to stick up. Um, yeah, text mesh, import that. That's all, all the good stuff. And then we'll have nice big. You crashed. Um, all the presents are gone. Something like that. And then we'll just go bam, bam, um, ooh, stick it right in the center and There we go, make it as wide as it needs to be. Let's go. Cool. Um, we'll make it a bit fatter. Let's go 72. Yeah. That's alarming enough. Um, do we have other fonts we can choose? No, not really. Um all right, that'll do. Um, and then we will uncheck that. Um, now the game controller. Nope. That's what we want. Game controller. This should be at the top. Why is this not at the top? Uh, should have a public DMP um, text. 
um, lose. Nope. And there we go. Um, and then we are also then going to say lose text. Is this the correct way to do it? Again, no, but we're trying to do this fast. So we're going along. Oh, wait, no, I need to, uh, to actually, no, come on. Do, do, do control, I need to actually give it the text. <coughs> Let's see, we're going along, everything's fine, and bam, you crashed, all the presents are gone, cool. Um, I'll give Santa one health so it's not quite so stupid. Um, all right, cool. Uh, so there are obstacles you can crash now. Um, we need um, more obstacles, not no more obstacles, but a thing to generate them. So uh, we're going to make a new script. Um, obstacle generator. So you spell generator, right? And we're going to open that up. Right, and it's going to have a public um, list of obstacles. Which hopefully Yes, there we go, cool. Um, does that matter? No. Right. Um what are the what are the bounds of this? Let's see. Um we can get I'm gonna put them at nine to Yeah, okay, we'll go plus and minus nine. So um first we'd also want um public float um I know I'm not using this con this uh correctly, but hey. Um, right, so public float, um, obstacle frequency and a either float. Timer and give one more week. Uh, and then we go uh, if just go timer so that to zero and we will go timer and dot delta time there we go uh I'll just go timer zero then uh generate object and obstacle timer goes back up to obstacle frequency. That's all I need, right? Yeah, cool. And generate object will be um, I 
if I get a random, so if I have a list of Oops, uh, because um, nope, as uh, the might be deprecated, but oh well. And then, um, and then instantiate, um, first of all, we want, uh, because I, this one, parent, um, Other versions of this do we have? Yeah, and um, new vector three is going to be um, Okay, and then, um, wait, X, this. Um, then that's minus, and is, and boundaries. There we go. And we just want uh, turn the arm down to anything. No, not inverse. Identity. There we go. Because the range has int and. Uh, oh. Okay, so that should then periodically generate new obstacles when it's been given a list of obstacles. So, controllers spawn thing. We're gonna go. It's gonna get rock. It's gonna get a tree. It's gonna get no. That's an image. It's gonna get rock. Um, and then we're gonna have. Uh, we'll say we'll get one every second. Uh, the boundary is nine, and what's the spawn height? Rock. Uh, if we go here, six. We'll say it's six. Okay, Let's see how this goes. Hey, hey! All right, gonna add an extra thing to uh, the objects because they're not dish, uh, dying. Um, so, um, I'm just going to call it check delete. Nope. Let's 
So I'm going to say um, if no position dot y um, is less than or equal to let's say minus ten f um, destroy this. Okay, right, so reloading, it's thinking. We'll check with what minus 10 y looks like. Quite a long way out. Um, and so hopefully, these objects will continue to delete themselves. Okay, maybe minus 10 is a bit higher, a bit, a bit lower threshold. What was, uh, what was the point where it actually comes off the screen? Minus six? Yeah, all right, we'll do that. Do, 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 that's that's not good. Um, move the rock back up. There we go. All right, nineteen minutes left. Why do they not appear to be deleting themselves? Check delete. I think it might need to be that. Yeah, okay, there we go. I was <laughs> deleting the script, not the game object. Uh, okay, cool. Now let's add a. I mean, this is survival, so let's add a timer. Um, uh, game controller. So we're gonna have a. Have a quote. Um, survival time. Just five time plus equals time my delta time. Um, if Also gonna have a survival text. Um spring.
I don't know what the string formats are. Quick. Uh, let's hope that works. Uh, right, and then we go back up to here. We've got 15 minutes to canvas, and we create more text. Timer, and this will be videos. Now we'll call it timer, and this will be gold. Still not easy, it's super easy. Oh, wait, we can um, do fancy stuff with this, can't we? So we can do an outline. Make it chunkier. Make it a little bit bigger. And then up here. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I haven't actually changed the text, have I? Yeah. Um, and then once you've got that, then uh, a bit of a and uh, survival text. That text equals T. Cool. Now let's see. If See if it works when we get up to 10. Yeah, it does. Cool. You crashed. There we go. There's a timer. There's an end state. This is technically a functional game. I'm going to increase the uh, number of obstacles. Doesn't get harder as time goes on, but hey. Oh, yeah, no. Even more obstacles. Um, this might be too much. Let's find out. Okay. Okay, that's still generating stuff even after it uh, ends. So we do need to oh, check on them. And game controller dot instance dot uh, game start not. Okay, cool. So we have a terrible game. So let's find um, some music. Freesound.org. Lovely resource. Um, Christmas. I remember. Well, that's awful. Um, well, that's awful. Okay, well, this is, to be fair, it's slightly off key. Christmas melody, there we go. I mean, it's, it's definitely music. 
Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Alright. Christmas. Music. Should have been more specific. That's just... I like it. Um... You know what? Um, or is it this one? Gonna download this. Um, uh, games, Christmas game assets, and bam, there. I'm also gonna open Audacity because I need to trim that. I've got nine minutes left. Oof. Not off. Oof. That's it. Uh, we're going to throw that in here. And we're just going to trim a little. So if we loop the whole thing. And start. Yeah, it's fine. Nope. Um, export as MP3. Two. Uh, no, where are we going? Ah, where the fuck? Quick access. There we go. Just gonna overwrite it. Ow! Oof! That's very funny. Oof! Oof! I'm taking that one. Okay, cool. So we're back to Christmas game. Right. And I'm going to add an audio source, uh, which we're just going to give. Um, shit, which one of these is? This is the Christmas music. There you go. It's just going to loop. Uh, and then we're going to give Santa an audio source, which is going to have the oof. Do not play on awake. Um, and then uh, Santa behavior, take damage. Um, right, so this should also have a um, audio source. Component, audio source, right, and then when you take damage, um, we're going to do audio source dot play. Okay, let's see if this works. It might be deafening. I didn't hear an oof. All right, possibly because the audio source is uh, destroyed as soon as Santa dies. So if we copy this and stick it in the controllers. Um, 
values. Nope. Base component as new. There we go. Okay, cool. And then okay. remove it from Santa. And instead, public. Get rid of that. And Ah, shit. Add an inspector for Santa. Who for the Santa audio source? Um, the one with the oof. Let's try. There we go. Um, and then if we give Santa, oh yeah, unlock that. If we give Santa, um, let's say three health. We're gonna also yeah, one five health. Okay, he only plays it when he dies. So let's. Uh, shift that. Where is that? All right, we've got three and a half minutes left. Yeah. Okay, um, I guess, what could we add with that? Um, I don't really know, we've got... We could try and have some kind of... I don't know. We could try and make um Ah, we can try and get an extra pickup which gives you like extra oh. No, obviously we want a canvas component that shows lives. Um so we want another shit. Um TMP. Uh, and this one's gonna be in red. Or is it going to be green? Let's make it green. Um, with a bit of an outline. There we go. Um, start that there. And we'll go right up into the corner. So 40. Okay, cool. Then... I'm going to be fast. Uh, public um, TMP next is lives next. Lives has to show whatever dot text equals. Um, Lives plus um, M underscore health. That should also actually happen um, at the start, just in case I change it from three. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We've got 45 seconds there. Let's test that by giving him five lives instead. So, does it update properly? Yep. Oof. Oof. 
There we go, a life counter. Cool, all right, well, um, I'm gonna call it there. We're at 59 minutes and 51 seconds to go. Um, that is our terrible Christmas game. Uh, it'll, I don't know, I'll put it on itch.io or something anywhere uh, that it's available. It'll be linked in the description. All right, see you next time.